guys, this is Matt. I want to take you through another little game inspiration. Um, you've seen probably videos of me showing taps before where we have a dodgeball and we're trying to just keep the ball up any way we can. There goes the dog. Uh, <laughs> just kind of like hacky sack, but you can use hands, you can use anything with a group, uh, multiple touches in a row, okay? There's another kind of variation of this, which is playing solo uh, on a wall or even playing with a partner on a wall. And you can use a dodgeball. This is probably like my favorite single investment. Uh, you can get these at Target for I think like nine bucks. Um, and one of them will go a long way for lots of different types of games. The other thing you'd use is a tennis ball. And a tennis ball is definitely much more technical and challenging to do this type of game with. Um, the tennis ball version I've seen popularized uh, recently by Ido Portal and his group. Um, but essentially, if I have a ball here, all I'm gonna do is just try to bounce it off, off the wall to myself, almost like a plain handball. But I can do whatever, I can kick it. I can try to practice only closed fists, which, make, which makes a difference, or backhands only. Um, I could do, uh, has to touch the chest or maybe headers off the wall. Uh, if you have the tennis ball, probably best to stick with fists or palms or, or uh, back of the hand. Um, but just lots of different ways you can play and try to get as many in a row as you can and vary up the challenge. You can also make it harder by coming from further out. The further in, the closer in you're going to be. You can see the further away I am. The longer I have, but then the closer in I am, the more reactive it becomes. There's no right or wrong. Uh, and then if you have other people you want to play with, you can do this in the air back and forth to each other, which can be really challenging, especially if you're punching a tennis ball back and forth. Or you can keep the wall in here and you can play uh, like back and forth like you're always playing handball um, or just trying to work together to keep, keep the ball up. Other things you could use, balloons, uh, beach balls, uh, uh, kind of those small rubber bouncy balls that you can get for a dollar at, at Walgreens or whatever. It's all fair game. And I think the more things you play with and kind of experiment with and the more kind of house rules you make up for the types of games you play here, the better. So try that out and let me know how it goes.